in this present video we will learn about the combination of resistances. There are two ways in which resistances can be combined. Series combination where the resistances are joined end to end offering just a single path for flow of current that is whatever current flows through first resistance R1 same will flow through all remaining resistances. Such a combination is called a series combination of resistances. The resistances can also be connected in parallel where one end of each of resistances for example here R1, R2, R3 they all have their left end connected to point A and similarly the other end the right end connected to point B. So, such a combination is called parallel combination. Let us see what is the effective total resistance offered by series combination. For the purpose let's take three resistances R1, R2 and R3 joined end to end in series. Suppose a potential difference V applied across the combination sends a current I through the combination. This potential difference V, total potential difference V is divided into three parts V1 across R1, V2 across R2 and V3 across R3 giving us the relation V equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Let's record this relation as 1. By Ohm's law V1 is current into R1 that is I R1, V2 is equal to I R2, V3 is equal to I R3. Now using these equations in 1 you get V equal to I R1 plus I R2 plus I R3. If we replace this combination by an equivalent circuit having a total resistance Rs current I the potential difference is V. For this equivalent circuit we get V is equal to I into Rs this is equation number 4. Compare 3 and 4 you get IRS equal to I into R1 plus R2 plus R3 or dividing by I the current you get RS equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 that is for a series combination of resistances the effective resistance RS is equal to the sum of the individual resistances R1, R2, R3 forming the combination this relation holds for any number of resistance 2, 3, 4, 5 or any higher number. Remember in series combination current remains the same through each of the resistances. The potential difference is divided across the resistances in the combination. The resistance increases that is the effective resistance or equivalent resistance RS will be greater than either of the three resistances taken individually that is RS is greater than R1 it is also greater than R2 it is also greater than R3 and fourth thing the order does not alter RS that is if R1 is replaced by R3 and R3 by R1 this may come first this may se come second third order of the resistances whichever resistance comes first the relation will still hold. Now coming to parallel combination in order to get effective resistance of this combination let us again consider three resistances R1, R2, R3 joined in parallel between points A and B. Supposing a potential difference V across the combination gives us a total current I at A the current will be divided into different branches I1 through R1, I2 through R2 and I3 through R3. 
you can write this equation i equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 now applying ohm's law to resistance r1 you get i1 is equal to v over r1 i2 equal to v over r2 i3 equal to v over r3 so from 1 and 2 i equal to v over r1 plus v over r2 plus v over r3 in an equivalent circuit that is circuit which is equivalent to this combination the resistance we can take as rp current is i the potential difference is v giving you the relation i equal to v over rp if you compare 3 and 4 you will get v over rp equal to v over r1 plus v over r2 plus v over r3 dividing by the common factor v you get 1 over rp equal to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 hence the reciprocal of the effective resistance in parallel combination is equal to sum of the reciprocals of individual resistances that is 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 and so on if there are more resistances in the combination now to compare it with series combination in a parallel combination we have same value of potential difference across each resistance whereas current is divided that is different resistances will get different values of current the effective resistance rp is less than either of the resistances in the combination you can now differentiate between the two combinations in a tabular form in series the resistances are connected end to end so that same current flows through each of the resistances in parallel one end of each resistance is connected to a common point and the other end to another common point in series combination the potential difference is divided in parallel combination the current is divided series combination increases the resistance parallel combination reduces the resistance these are some of the differences in the two combinations let us now proceed to solve a few numerical problems based on the combination of resistances first question number one you have to find the current drawn from the cell in this diagram if you analyze this diagram carefully this is a cell of emf2 volts the current will be sent in this direction from positive at a the current is divided into two parts a part flowing here and another part flowing through this branch now whatever current passes through a b same has to pass through b c that is these resistances of 30 ohm each they are in series combination for the solution let's term ab as r1 bc as r2 and ac as r3 r1 r2 and r3 as discussed the current through r1 and r2 is the same so r1 and r2 they are joined in series to get the equivalent resistance in this branch a b c the resistance will be r1 plus r2 that is 30 ohms plus 30 ohms equal to 60 ohms let's call this resistance as r4 the circuit diagram can be redrawn here you have this two volt cell the 30 ohm resistance and this now is a single resistance of 60 ohms so we have replaced it by r4 60 ohms again from the diagram it is clear that one end of this resistance is joined to a similarly one end of r4 is joined to a the other ends are joined to c so this is a parallel combination of 60 and 30 you can calculate the equivalent resistance by this parallel formula that is r equivalent will be r1 30 into 60 over 30 plus 60 
or 20 ohms. The current can then be calculated as I is equal to V over R or 2 by 20 or 0 0.1 ampere. For question number 2, let's now analyze this diagram. If you see carefully, this resistance between point A and E and the resistance between B and E, they have one end that is this end joined to a common point E and the other ends joined to a common point P1. So this at 10 ohm resistance and this 10 ohm resistance these are in parallel which will give you a resistance of 5 ohms 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 equal to 1 over RP so RP here between P1 and E comes out to be 5 ohms similarly on this side 10 ohm 10 ohm in parallel will give you an equivalent resistance of 5 ohm we can draw an equivalent circuit here as shown the diagram here depicts the equivalent circuit this 5 ohm resistance between B and C here you have a series combination of 5 ohms 10 plus 10 in parallel give you 5 ohm 5 ohm here so this these two resistances have been drawn here between P1 and P2 P1 E P2 and this 5 ohm is the resistance is drawn here clearly this is a series combination giving you simple resistance as 5 plus 5 10 ohms now overall you have 5 ohms 10 ohms and 5 ohms in parallel so you can use this formula R equivalent equal to 1 over RBC that is resistance between B and C R P1 E P2 this branch plus this branch so 1 over 5 plus 1 over 10 plus 1 over 10 giving you 5 by 10 or the equivalent resistance happens to be turns out to be 2 ohm the current you can calculate V over R equivalent 10 volt the battery EMF divided by 2 ohms the effective resistance gives you 5 ampere as the current or the reading in the ammeter so see this question number 3 we have 2 cells E1 and E2 in the given diagram have an EMF of 5 volt and 9 volts an internal resistance of 0 0.3 ohms and 1.2 ohm respectively Calculate the value of current flowing through the 3 ohm resistance. Let's analyze this circuit carefully and the two cells involved in it. For solution to question 3, you can see that E1 sends current towards right and E2 towards left. So these two cells are connected opposite to each other. Their EMFs will be subtracted. E1 is 5 volts, E2 is 9. So you will have a net EMF of 4 volts. However, their internal resistances will be added. 0.3 ohms plus 1.2 ohms. That will give you a total resistance of 1.5 volt. That is, these two cells taken together behave as a single battery of 4 volts EMF and internal resistance 1.5 ohm the resistances of 6 ohm and 3 ohm are connected in parallel you can calculate the equivalent resistance as 2 ohms the circuit can then be drawn here redrawn here as equivalent circuit the battery the resistance of 4.5 ohms and the resistance net resistance between B and C as 2 ohms. The total resistance in the circuit is given by the series combination of 4.5 ohms, 2 ohms and this total internal resistance 1.5 ohm. So that is the resistance comes out to be 4.5 plus 2 plus 1.5 that is 
8 ohms or the current will be given by emf over total resistance 4 over 8 or half ampere so here this combination draws a current of half ampere and its resistance is 2 ohms so potential difference between b and c is given by current into resistance that is half into 2 or 1 volt this 1 volt potential difference is available across 3 ohms as well as 6 ohms we have to determine current through 3 ohm resistance therefore the current will be vbc upon 3 equal to 1 over 3 ampere 